I'm Paul DeGarabedian, Senior Media Analyst for Comscore, and I'm here to talk about James Cameron. James Cameron is one of the most successful film directors of all time. And after bursting onto the scene back in 1984 with the original classic Terminator, he established himself as both a technically sophisticated filmmaker and a visionary force to be reckoned with. Movies like The Abyss, Aliens, Terminator 2, and True Lies established Cameron as a thinking person's action director, combining technical perfection with a large measure of heart and soul in every frame. Of course, it was with the release of Titanic back in December of 1997 that James Cameron redefined the term blockbuster with a romantic adventure that resonated across the globe and at the time rose to become the highest grossing film ever and collected numerous awards and accolades, taking home 11 Oscars, including Best Picture and of course, Best Director at the Academy Awards in 1998. Notably, according to our Comscore data, two of the top six highest grossing films globally of all time, including the original Avatar, which now stands as the highest grossing film of all time with $2.9 billion belong to the director. Now, with the debut in theaters set for December 16 of Cameron's long awaited 3D epic, Avatar The Way of Water, Cameron hopes to add another of his films to the top 10 highest grossing of all time. And if there's any filmmaker who can make this lofty goal a reality, it is indeed James Francis Cameron. Side note, I actually met James Cameron when I was a film student way, way back in 1984 at California State Long Beach, and he brought the original Terminator to show our class. Nobody knew who he was. After the film, he graciously stood outside and talked with a handful of us students about the movie and we peppered him with questions. At the time, we had no idea how monumental this young filmmaker would become. Pretty amazing stuff. So I'm Paul Garabedian, Senior Media Analyst for Comscore, and I'll see you at the next James Cameron movie.